Hey, it's David Heatley here from Cycling Informer. I just wanted to show you how to load our fit file training workout files onto your Garmin computer. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go to the website. Now it's very important that you do this in this order because the order of it is important. All right, so I'll just go to my screen here. And in here, this is the indoor training video. Now we have two uh, fit files that we can download. There's a standard one. This is the standard Garmin fit file. And we also have uh, the uh, video version. All right. So now the, the difference between the two is that the standard fit file runs against the PDF timing sheet that we have as one of the downloads here as well. All right. Uh, this here. Whereas the video, because we have an introduction in the video, the uh, the timing sheet, uh, the timings have to change a little bit to make sure you're in sync with the video. So that's why we've got two files. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, download the standard uh, fit file and uh, it'll pop up down the bottom here all right and I just save it in a location you can save it anywhere just remember where you've saved it and once it's once it's been downloaded you can go now I'm running Windows computer it'll be very similar for an Apple computer now it's also important that uh, that you rename the file just make it a little bit shorter all right because sometimes the longer files don't load into the Garmin so just make it a little bit shorter uh, generally if it's got about that many characters or less it'll be fine and you want to remove any special characters that we've got on it so now the next thing we want to do is we want to plug your Garmin computer into your computer you'll need a computer to uh, to do this so uh, now before we do that it's important that you get the Garmin cable. Now, some cables work, some cables don't work. So I always, I always use the Garmin cable that came with my Garmin computer, and you can tell that it's a Garmin cable because you probably can't see that, but it says Garmin on it here. So use the Garmin cable because that will work. Like I say, some Garmin, some cables, USB cables, don't work. So we're just going to plug it in the back here. All right, <clears throat> and then we plug this in into your USB port on your computer. Now this will work with the Apple Mac or um, uh, Windows machines. Now the Garmin will fire up and it'll change the screen. If it fires up and it just shows charging, then you need to change to the Garmin cable. But what will happen is that it'll fire up and you'll see that the screen will change. It just takes a while. Wait for Garmin to work. All right, okay, so the little charging things come up, and then this comes up to say that it's connected to the computer. All right, I don't know whether you can see that very well, but that's very important. See that? It's connected to the computer. All right, so once those two symbols have come up, then you will be able to jump into your computer. I'll just share my screen again. All right, so we want to find that file. Here it is here. I've shortened it. Uh, and I'm going to load it up into your Garmin computer, into my, well, into my Garmin computer. Now, <clears throat> you'll see in the Explorer that you'll see the Garmin computer here in as one of the devices. So if you click on that and go to Garmin, <clears throat> you'll see the new files folder. That's where you want to drop it. So we're just going to grab this file, and we're going to drop it, or you can copy and paste it, uh, into the new files. All right. So in here, you'll see it there. All right. Okay, all right. So then you, it's very important. You unplug the Garmin computer from your computer. All right, and the Garmin computer will just sit there, and it'll probably fire up. Hopefully, if it doesn't do that, then you just want to turn it off. All right, so it's fired up. Now then we go select it down, go training. We select enter. All right, and then we go workouts, and we select enter, and there it is there. All right, so you'll see that there's the training file there, and then you press enter to select it. All right, and then you can go do workout, and you can just press enter again. All right, and there you go. Time to go. All right, and it detects where your bike's moving. All right, so that's how it starts it. But that's how you load it up. All right, so um, hope that's been useful. It's been David Heatley here, obviously, from Cycling Inform.